But now let's move to value chain analysis. Honestly, this is about taking the entire business apart. It's looking at each function and seeing how it contributes to good products and satisfied customers. It attempts to understand how the customer value is created. And it takes a very much of a process point of view. So when you take a look at the value chain, you are defining all of your activities, allocating costs along the continuum, what contributes to getting that product out the door. Now, one of the tougher things about this is it's better than cost accounting, but it takes a lot of time. Traditional cost accounting is what I would call all about the nouns. Supplies, wages, benefits. And activity-based cost accounting, which contributes to the value chain, is all about verbs. Reducing this, checking this. There's some difficulties, though. Most systems aren't set up to give you activity-based cost breakdowns for your value chain analysis. If you don't have, it's not easy, it takes time, and you might not have the information. So if you do choose to go with value chain, you have to make sure that you have the info in order to make the assessment. It may be easier to do the SWOT analysis.